Finding a good deal on firewood is helpful, especially if you use a lot of it to heat your home in the winter season. Most of us here at Northline Express are seasoned wood burners, so we have compiled some tips and pointers that are going to help you make sure that you're getting the most bang for your firewood buck. The price of firewood that you buy is going to increase as the lengths get shorter, and this is because the increased cutting and handling that has to be done on the dealer's part. If possible, we recommend buying your firewood in full cords and splitting it yourself into the lengths that you need for your wood burning appliance. While firewood prices do vary greatly depending on the region, here's a good example of the savings you can get by splitting your own firewood rather than having pre-cut firewood delivered. In a full cord, which is stacked usually four foot high by eight foot wide and four foot in four foot lengths, it's gonna cost you around here about $200. You could pay as much, however, as $260 per full cord if the pieces are already cut to length. If you've got the space and the time, the best option would be to buy your firewood early in the spring and buy it by the logger's cord like we do here to heat our building. Also buying your firewood green and letting it season during the spring and summer months is probably going to save you about 30%. So what's a logger's cord? A logger's cord contains the same amount of cubic feet as a full cord of firewood, but because the logs are in eight foot lengths, a single logger's cord would be stacked four foot high by four foot wide and eight feet deep. This year we purchased 20 logger's cord and spent $1,500. Each logger's cord is equal to about three face cords, so our 20 logger's cords translate to about 60 face cords. Cords. Locally, the going rate for a face cord of firewood is about $50 for mixed hardwood like we purchased. That means we saved about $1,500 purchasing our firewood this way. If we would have purchased a firewood cut to length, we potentially could have spent about $3,000. That's double the price. That's an awesome savings, but keep in mind that's a savings that you're going to have to work for. It's not a project that we recommend taking on either without a good log splitter. You don't even need the biggest splitter out there. In fact, all of this firewood that you see here was caught right here, it was the pulp cords, and it was all split into these pieces with our Woody's 4-ton electric splitter. That's 40,000 pounds of firewood that passed through that little 4-ton splitter, and as you can see, it worked. If you just don't have the space, the time, or the desire to purchase your firewood in bulk like we do, it can can still be cost effective to buy firewood that is already split from a dealer if you know how to purchase good firewood that's going to be worth your money. So here are some tips to make sure that you're buying good firewood and not getting ripped off. First off, never order your firewood over the phone. It's best to go to the dealer's storage area and inspect the firewood that you're purchasing. It'll be easier for you to walk away from a bad deal than it will be to deal with the wood that isn't what you were promised upon delivery. If possible, get your firewood ordered and delivered in the spring. This is going to allow you to stack it properly for seasoning all summer long. It also is going to allow for enough time in case the wood does require some additional seasoning before use. You should never buy randomly piled wood. First, that's not going to be an efficient method of seasoning, so most likely that wood is not properly seasoned. And secondly, there's really no way to tell how much you're actually getting. If possible, ask the dealer if you can restack your wood upon delivery before you pay or if they'll stack it for you. This is going to allow you to measure the pile before as well as after to confirm that you're getting the volume of firewood that you actually paid for. I hope you found this information helpful. It's just one more way that Northland Express helps you keep your home fires burning.